Hey guys, welcome back to the Ron Williams Champion Life YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over leg press. And I'm going to tell you why I want to go over leg press because this is an exercise that I'm going to be doing a lot of until summer hits because I'm going back out to the track. I love to sprint. Um, I love to do track work in the summertime when it's nice and warm. I'll tell you something. It does not get hot enough for me. I love it hot. So uh, I'll be doing a lot of track work. You'll see me on the track quite a bit this year. But the key here is when I'm doing my leg press, I'm gonna be very, very careful because squats, leg press, leg extensions, even leg curls, uh, you have to be careful on the form because they can damage your knees. Let me give you an example. When I'm doing the leg press, I wanna make sure that my feet are in the proper position. Some of the machines that they have are not designed to, fill, uh, to facilitate you being in the proper position. One thing, if my feet are not high enough, if my feet are not wide enough, it puts pressure directly on the knees itself. Sometimes what will happen if I don't get, uh, if I don't get in a proper machine that's suited for me, I can't get in the proper position so that I can do the exercise and maximize it, get everything I want to out of it. Let me give you an example. Like now, I have this machine up forward quite a bit so that I can get a full range of motion. Now, if my knees, if my feet uh, are low, <clears throat> you'll notice that this creates an angle on my knee. When I'm pushing, <clears throat> I can push the weight, but the very first movement is on that joint. Now watch this. The objective here is to get this angle off of the knee. So what do I need to do? See the angle? I'm going to show you one more time. Ooh, push the weight. If I bring my feet higher, it takes the angle away. See that? Not quite all the way, so this actually needs to be a little bit higher. So high and wide is going to help me build, build size. When the angle is on the knee, it takes pressure off the hamstring as well as the glute. All the pressure goes on the quad and the knee joint. So watch the, watch the difference between the two. Watch the angle. Ooh. Angle off, angle on. Here, I'm going to damage my knee. Here, I'm protecting my knee. I hope you can see that. Now, <clears throat> the other thing that I want to be sure of, I'm going to correct this angle now. Oops, let you see it again. Uh, now I'm going to correct that angle, high and wide. You may feel a little uncomfortable and think that your foot is going to slip off, but because of the bottoms of these shoes and the texture of the pad, my feet won't slip. Be careful with whatever apparatus or machine that you're using that your feet does not have the ability to slip off because if your feet slip off, that's going to cause some tremendous damage to wherever that, uh, that pad hits. So, <clears throat> so my objective here is to keep my chest up and keep my hips rotated back. If my hips are rotated back, as I come down, uh, I'm loading with my glutes. My hamstrings are involved now. That first movement, I'm driving through my heels. I have more power. Glutes are involved. Now I'm building good hamstrings, as well as quads, as well as my glutes. If I put the angle on, I'm putting all the pressure. Might build great quads, but it's only going to be a matter of time before I damage my knees. And I'll start wrapping my knees because I feel the pressure there. But if I do it correctly, may not need the wraps and I'm building my glutes, hamstrings, and quads. Very important. So, as I said, <clears throat> I'm gonna add a little more weight on here, show you what it looks like. I'm going down, <clears throat> driving up. <clears throat> and I'm concentrating, not just pushing the weight, but firing the muscle, forcing the mind into the muscle. So as I'm coming down, forcing my chest towards the ceiling, <clears throat> loading the glutes, a lot of glute work here, and I'm driving for my heels and glutes. Ugh. Nice and controlled. Okay, now, ugh. put some more weight on there. 
Regardless of how much weight I have on here, even though it gets heavier and heavier, sometimes it appears that you can't push it, but you actually have more power, more strength if you're doing it right. If all the pressure is on the legs and the majority of it is pushing towards the joint, you're very limited and your joints will tell you, you can't do this, you're, 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 you're damaging me. So if you do it correctly, you'll find that you can keep driving because you're driving from the right area, the glutes. Now it'll be hard for me to get into this position. <clears throat> now with this leg, in order to get a full range of motion, <clears throat> it's hard to get this foot in. So this is the way I do it. I stand up first, put my feet into position. <clears throat> Once I get my feet in position, I drop down. Oh! Look at that angle's beautiful. I'm ready to make this happen. as you're loading your glutes, as you're coming back, it's almost like a spring. When you take a spring in a gun, a BB gun, I used to shoot a BB gun, <clears throat> and I shot uh, also M16s when I was in the military. But there's a loading process, and with the spring, you load that spring. And as you push that spring, you push it, you push it, it's ready to push out. It's ready to push back. So that's what you want to do with your, with your glutes. You're loading it, loading it, and there's pressure going against it. Uh, it's ready to drive back. So you load it and drive it, load it, drive it. But if you come all the way down and you relax it, you start over. When you start over, you're starting over, pushing from that joint. You can show you how to move away from that. Okay. Ah. Feet set up. Here we go. Drop down. Force those glutes back. Ah. Now I'm loading it. Pushing out. Now here's the loading process. Rotating the hips back, chest up, and I'm loading, 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 loading. Not ready to try. It's ready to load it. It's ready to push back. If I let my hips round. I start all over. It looks like this. Watch the hips. Coming down. <clears throat> Relax and let it ramp. Now. <clears throat> much, much harder. Watch when I load it. <clears throat> load it. <clears throat> much, much easier. Much more controlled. Less pressure on the joints. That's the way I want you to do your leg press, guys. Looking forward to going through this winter with you. Let's go out to the track, see what we got. God bless you till next time. Coach out.